fuck is popping, everybody? With the man Steven over yeah, here. Guys. But I have a hell of a fucking weekend. Trying out this new camera. If I feel like I'm looking above you, that's this new camera. We got a hell of a fucking weekend planned for us. But uh, go get my haircut. Then we're gonna go day trade with Matt in the hot tub. We're going to a club tonight. We're gonna have a hell of a time. And I'll just let the video do the speaking for itself. Oh, it feels so weird, bro. <laughs> what the hell about this? <laughs> oh. Is there any on that one? Yep. Wow. I can breathe so clear right now. Oh, that's phenomenal. <laughs> Matt Lorian, when you're seeing this, you're welcome. This man loves smearing off ices more than anyone I've ever met in the world. It's bizarre. He should be on My Strange Addiction. This is all for you, Matt Lorian. <laughs> so, what we're doing right now, we're in the hot tub. We're about to do some trading. My account balance, $158. Matt Lorian trades here, expert trader. We're gonna see what we can do with this by reading some technical analysis, all that fun shit. We're gonna make some money, baby. We're gonna make some money in the hot tub, we're drinking some alkaline water, staying healthy, it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're gonna keep you updated with our trades, how they're going. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, guys, the market closed at five. It's 5.03 right now, which kind of freaking sucks. Uh, so we can't trade any gold, forex. So the only things we can trade right now are, <laughs> are cryptos and only cryptos. We're probably gonna have to force a trade here, but Matt's gonna put an analysis on Ethereum and see what we can do with that. Well, we're gonna start out, we're gonna start out on the one day time frame. You know one day time frame, right? Yeah. Every single candle is a day. Is a day. Our all time high was right here. All time high was around 43.50. And recently it just broke through the resistance here. Look how beautiful, right? look how beautiful. So a key level, you know a key level, that's pretty much acts as support and resistance. It was acting as resistance before, the price couldn't break through, and the thing is, as soon as it did break through, boom, boom, it broke through, and then it retested, and it retested it twice until it broke and pretty much made an all-time high. We are trying to break the all-time high right now. All-time high now, the new one, set today is 44.60. So the price is trying to break it right now. We're creating consistent higher highs and higher lows. And then this is what we're kind of, this is the analysis that we can go based off of. Right there. And that is acting as support right now. So that's supporting. So you think it's gonna come down to the support or do you think it's not even gonna get close to it? Well, it just did like an hour ago. Uh -huh. So I think it could try to retest the all time high. People don't realize, bro. That like when you can literally learn a high like a high income skill, master it, and work from the hot tub. I sat right there this morning. I was trading gold. The account balance was at five grand, and when I left the left the hot tub, the account balance was at seven point five grand. Two and a half grand. And I was here for maybe an hour. It's fun. It's addicting. Like it's you could get fun. addicted to nicotine, or you get addicted to trading, or you get addicted to watching this stud on TikTok. <laughs> that always works too. Both have a high ROI. <laughs> So we've been playing at this party for the past like five days. It's gonna be the craziest party ever. We've gone through like four different mansions. We had one mansion that fell through. We had another mansion that fell through. So we're on our third mansion. The other two were in Coral Gables, which is where the University of Miami is, which is where a majority of the people that are coming to the party are located. So we found some place. It's an insane crib. Got a picture of this? It's absolutely beautiful. And this baby costs upwards of 10 Gs, but it's-, it's 10 grand money. for the night. It's pretty fucking worth it. Look at this bad boy. 10 grand, 10 grand. You know what I'm it's very, it's very stressful. I know to college kids, 45 minute drive is like two hours. We're gonna have to throw the craziest party ever. And I guess you guys are gonna see that at the end of this video probably, and we'll, we'll, we'll keep you updated along the way. But we're not gonna worry about that right now. Cause we're going to story tonight, we're getting a table. But yeah, that's our dilemma right now. We're trying to provide the best party of the fucking year. So it's gonna, it's gonna cost a lot. We're trying to build a legacy. This is the price you have to pay. See you in the next clip, whatever it may be. I don't even know at this point, who knows. So we're pre in the club right now. Hopefully they let the cameraman in the fucking club. That would be epic. That'd be fucking epic if they let my boy Steven in there. My boy Tito, my boy Tito in this bitch. Big T in this bitch. It's your boy Big T. <laughs> Brought you the executive protection. We outside, but we really inside though. Here's the Spencer. Cheers. It's been a fucking Good. time. Great fucking weekend. We had a great time in Miami. Time in Miami. Let's go. Yo. See, I'm not built like that. I'm just not built like that. I don't finish shotguns. 
So I know up up until this point in the vlog, we've been we've been basically turning up this whole time. We've we've been having a good time this whole vlog. But if you follow me on TikTok and you actually follow me like at all, you see me talk about balance all the time. The importance of balance. Yeah, I go out, I turn the fuck up on the weekends. Every fucking day of the week, I show up. I give every single day my 100 percent. Because why would I be busting my balls every day of the week to not enjoy this shit? Obviously, yeah, I, I don't have to drink, but everything in moderation, including moderation. Knowing what alcohol does to you is also insanely important. I understand the anatomy of alcohol. I understand all the damage it does to my body. I'm not mindlessly consuming this shit. I do it because I know I'm not going to do it forever. So while you're young, I guess it's the time to fucking do it, but know what you're doing to yourself and deserve this shit. Don't just fucking live for the weekend. Give every fucking day of the week your 100% so that you don't let yourself down in the future. Because you don't have time to waste. If you want to experience some shit like this and you're not where you want to be in life, you shouldn't be out partying. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it 100% with you. So get your shit together, then you can turn up and enjoy yourself. <laughs> Yeah, we need to see something. We need to see something. Oh, oh, the shoe oh, tie. God. The shoe tie. Okay. So we made a good story. We got our happy dad. We got our 1942 dot movie up. The table ended up costing $3,300. Was not expecting that at all. At all. Was not expecting that whatsoever. And I had to pay for it. This place went zero to 100 really quick. Everybody. Had a hell of a night last night, but we still woke up at like 9.30, 10 ish. Woke up red, meditated, grounded ourselves. I'm reading 48 laws of power right now, this shit's hefty. So now we're about to go hit the gym. And the thing about like going out is that you can't really let it slow you down. Like you can go out, but you have to conquer yourself. You can't let the alcohol have too much of an influence on you because you have to stay in control of your life. You can't let it control your life. When you move freely, the more detached you are from it. So, charge the game, we'll make it back. So we're about to go to the gym. All right, so we just finished our workout. Got a whole upper body workout. We know the vibes. I'm tired as fuck. This makes me miss my gym. Cause the atmosphere in my gym like literally pushes me to go so much harder. And like, obviously I'm grateful to have this, but everyone has their own, their own gym that they fucking love. And now we're just gonna go get the sauna, meditate in the sauna, probably read after this, get some whole foods, maybe take a nap. Cause I didn't realize how tired I was until I got to the gym. All right, so obviously we're in the sauna right now. I use this shit every single day of the week. Part of my morning routine is at the sauna. If you guys have access to a sauna, I would utilize the shit out of that. Because I come in here, I leave my phone outside. It's like my, my safe haven. And where I come in here, no one can bother me. And it's just like me, my thoughts. And I ground myself every single morning, prepare myself for the day. And I don't know what it is about the, the, the high heat accelerates my imagination, boosts my imagination, but some of my best ideas come from in the sauna. Gets rid of all the toxins out of your body. So it's just like all around one of the, the best things you can do. Meditate in the sauna if you ever have that option, but if you don't, just, just meditate. You just need to meditate every day. Prioritize meditating, it'll change your time. Alright, so it's Saturday night. It's like 10, 10 p.m. or something like that. We're at Whole Foods right now. All the all the plans fell through tonight, so we're just gonna get some pizza, throw on a movie, and get some good sleep. Tomorrow's gonna be absolutely insane. Now we're gonna enjoy ourselves. And absolutely relax. Because our bodies need that shit. All right, good morning, everybody. Today is the big day. We decided to chill last night on a Saturday. We, we kept it low key because we need to be energized for tonight. Slept very good, which I'm happy we did because I feel a lot better. So much better. If I can get obliterated tonight, really enjoy this party that we've worked so hard for. But I'm going to be hurt at least tonight, so I need a pretty game to I'm going to go to my apartment's gym because I don't have my car. It's going to be a busy day, so we'll keep you updated as we go along. These are my, uh, these are getting busted out at the party tonight. Just let you guys know. So, we just had dicks. We had to get two coolers for the party. We're, we're pretty stressed out. We're very overwhelmed. I won't lie. Show them the coolers. We're squished. We're quite squished. Uh, Isabel said her car was big. Uh, not, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> she might have lied. I thought it was going to fit. We made it work. So now we have to be very cautious and drive home. And we're going to get food. Yeah, we're getting whole foods. She yes. wants meatballs. So yeah. we're going to go do that. But we'll keep you guys updated. Should be a good night. Hopefully worth all the stress. We'll yeah, see. It's going to be fun. I'm here with one of the fucking masterminds behind this whole event. Oh Dardente God. fucking swim. Let's go, bro. The up and coming swimwear. You already fucking know. I'm like, what do you got to say about this whole process, this whole fucking experience? All I got to say is this party is going to be so dope, fucking so insane. crazy, fucking so insane. insane. You guys can't, like, you can't imagine what's about to happen. We had Google Docs for this shit. Bro, we planned this in a week. In a week. One week. Less than a week. Less than a week. Less than a week. Like, five days. Look at everything that happened. Five days. 
and we got 400 people pulling. <laughs> We're live, currently from Dream House event. We're live we behind the line. Fat ass it's line. a fat, fat ass, ass line. line. Fat it's crazy ass. inside. This is gonna be one of the best ever. All time. So, all just all listen, time. guys. All respect time. the house. Don't throw up. But like, have so much fucking fun. Just, the rage is on. Don't fuck shit up. Be a decent human. Be a decent human. Got a little shoddy, she off a of molly, she in love with the drug 